Hello friends, Matt here, and this week I did something kind of fun. I decided to take to Twitter and make polls for every major slot in my disc golf bag. It has a max of four poll options, and uh, for, so for each category, I let you guys on Twitter decide what am I going to throw in my next round. So I put it up there, let it run for a day, and uh, I'll let you know the options and what you guys decided. So we'll start out with our putting putters, and the pattern for this is I picked the disc I bag. Uh, usually one from my sponsor, um, if they have one in that slot. I don't have a putting putter from Reptilian yet. One I have bagged, and then two popular options from brands that I own. I had tons of requests for discs, especially the Hex. Sorry to all you Hex throwers out there, I don't own one. Um, and then I forgot the zone exists, so sorry. Um, but um, they're all discs that I have because I wasn't going to buy anything new for this video. So we'll start with putting putters. And the options were the Wizard, the PA3, the Atom, and the Swan. The Swan is what I bag. Uh, and you guys picked the Wizard. So I'll be bagging two Wizards. I've got this Nylon Winter Wizards and the Pandemonium Panda Stamp one. Uh, they're both kind of like medium softness. That's the Nylon one. And this is a uh, Double S from, from Gateway. So... I don't usually putt with a beaded putter, but I have putted with a wizard before and I think it'll be okay. A little more overstable than what I'm used to, but should be good. For throwing putters, the options were the Envy, the Joker Eye, the PX3, and the Scale. Uh, I usually bag the Envy, and you guys decide, let me keep the Envy, so I'll be bagging two of those. That came in with 77% of the vote and was by far the most uh, heavily favored disc in any of the polls. So I've got this patent pending Neutron Soft will be like my slightly overstable one and a kind of beat in Electron one that uh, will be my straight one. For the next category, we had the overstable approach to this. We had the Harp A2 Tactic and Stego. I really wanted you to let me keep my Stegos, but you guys said no. So I'll be bagging the Harp. I've got two Harps I'll be bringing. Um, I've got this tournament plastic one and the Copper and then a BT Medium. My overstable approach this. Then for mid ranges, straight mid range, I had the Buzz Rock Matrix and Iguana. I throw the Iguana. I like the Matrix a lot. I even like the Rock a lot. You guys picked the one I dislike the most. I'm not a Buzz fan, even though I do have several cool ones up there. And I will be throwing a very cool one, ESP Buzz. But I, you guys always pick Buzz for me to throw. I never want to do it, and you always make me. But I love you. Please throw good for me this time. And uh, that was 67% of the people wanted me to throw the buzz. So uh, hopefully it goes okay. And with 40% of the vote in the overstable mid-range, we have the Pyro. It beat out the Justice by just a couple points. Also the MX-1 and the Gila were in there. Uh, I got two Pyros. I got the, the Plasma Prism one and just a full-on Prism one. I think this one's a little more overstable, but they're both pretty nice and should be able to carve up a lot of lines for me. So looking forward to throwing those guys. In the you know stable fairway slot, the options were T-Bird, Stag, Terra, and Tyrant. I actually like all these a lot and have, have either bagged or would not mind bagging any of those. Uh, so you guys picked T-Bird with 62% of the vote. And I've got a Metal Flake and a Glow T-Bird that I'll be bagging. I've actually used these in tournaments before. That's why you see I've got my little keyword drawn on there on both of them so that'll be fine for my overstable control driver we had the firebird felon flare and h1 i bagged the flare you guys did not want me to throw it the firebird got 63 percent of the vote and i'll be bagging three i've got this pearly one that's like almost faf but not quite uh newer run it's a little bit beat in and then a super old thrash pre-flight number star one that I'll use kind of like I would my Komodo. Uh, it's still got some beef to it, but a lot straighter than normal Firebird these days. For my bomber backhand driver, I had the Pharaoh King D2 Pro on Kahu, and the Pharaoh won in a landslide. 54% of the vote. I got this cool one that has that weird uh, color dropout on it for some reason, but amazing multicolor stamp. And then for our final disc, overstable, distance driver, we had the Enforcer, Ape, Warhorse, and Energy. Uh, this one was a little bit closer, several with some good votes, but with 42%, the Enforcer wins. And I've got this Glitter Fluid Enforcer that I'm going to be throwing. So, um, 
None of the discs that I would have picked necessarily, but we'll see how we do with this one. So I decided to go out to Deerfield, starting out hole one with the pyro, putting it through the mando, and it turns more than I wanted it to, but it still gets up here pretty nice. I've got a look. My goal here today is my average league score is six down, so I want to beat six down. Just missed that circle two putt, but I'll just trot over here and tap it in. On hole two, I'm going with the BT medium harp. Nice little forehand hyzer, and it skids up there. It's kind of on the back side of this tree, but it's still a pretty easy putt. Just lean it out a little bit. Got my first birdie going on three, the hard backhand with the star firebird, and it just stayed really, really straight. Never faded too much. So we've got a circle two look, and have to tap in for another par. Hole four going pharaoh, and it hits that line pretty perfectly. Gets up there nice. In a good spot, but a little bit shorter than I would have expected. Just pitch up around the OB and then tap in for another three. Hole five going Firebird through that wide line there. And it doesn't really do what I thought it was going to. It doesn't skip much. So I'm just outside circle one. And really thought I had this putt for a second, but it does not quite make it. So we get another par. Hole six, backhand hyzer with the harp, and it just parks it. Pretty much perfect shot there, what the harp was built for, and we got to tap in. So two down, heading into hole seven, going enforcer on this kind of wide local route. That's probably not the intended line, but it still skips up there. And a little shorter than I want, I'm at circle's edge. And left this one just a little low on the uphill putt. So watching it roll back, quite annoying. But I'll just uh, grab my mini and Try to take care of business. And save that par. Hole eight, going with that harp again, taking the inside line. Hits that tree kind of at circle's edge, but I've still got about a 27 foot putt with the OB right there, but it's managed to knock it in. Hole nine, this is one of my best throws of the day, this high flex line with the pyro. Gets up there and parks hole nine. You want to be right where I am because you got OB long and just tapping it on in. Hole 10, throwing the buzz. And the buzz is so straight. I kept waiting for it to fade. I gave it some hyzer, but it ends up just outside the circle because it never did fade for me. About a 35, 40 foot putt and just missed low and left. So over on hole 11, going with Firebird on this wide one. And it does not go quite how I wanted it to, but still skips up into circle two. I was banking on that one being a little more overstable since it's really flat, but just missed that one. That one hurt a little bit. So I'll just tap in that one for the three. Now we're on 12 going Firebird on the wide flex route again. This one gets through pretty good, but once again, does not quite get the skip I was expecting. So I've got about a 40 footer here and just miss low tried the other wizard on that one but it uh, didn't go much differently than the black one so on 13 i couldn't decide between the fireball firebird or the pyros but side firebird and it skips up there pretty good i've got a slightly downhill like 30 foot putt was able to make that one with the ob long over on 14 i'm trying this weird outside line i've been wanting to try it so i go with that glow t berg so i know it's like i skip out of bounds Ends up way shorter where I wanted it to be, but it was a fun idea. And give that one kind of a half run. That's right at 60 feet, probably. Tap in for the three. Now over to 15. Another nice one with the pyro. This one actually hits one of the OB pylons just to barely stay in bounds. And should have been a birdie, but clanged that one. On 16, I'm taking this big high hyzer route. And actually made it into the circle. So I'll kind of redeem from last hole and get a birdie there. 17 going envy down the middle gap. And it clips this tree right at the end. But was able to pitch up here onto the dirt mound and get that par. Got a par four here. Hole 18. Pretty decent shot with a pharaoh. Got out in a, a okay spot. So I'm going with a harp here. A big backhand hyzer around those trees crashing into the green and gets me in a pretty good spot for a putt got about a 15 footer and make nice easy work of that one so on 19 i'm going firebird over here and gave it a little bit too much anheuser 
trying to be a little bit safe, but still ended up on the island, even though it hit like three trees. Pitch up with the Envy and tap in for an easy par on the hardest hole. So finishing up here with the Pyro, nice skip up, and we're tapping in for another birdie. Okay, guys, if you stuck around to watch it, I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of how I liked all the discs. The Wizards, I put it okay with. I feel like I probably left a couple strokes out there because they, uh, in the beginning, I didn't, I thought they were going to be more overstable than they were, so I played it to fade on some longer putts where I probably shouldn't have. It. I had a couple that dropped more than I thought they would, so it might have cost me a couple strokes, but overall, put it pretty well. I especially like the feel of that black nylon one. That was very nice. Um, Envy was great the couple times I threw it. Clipped that tree on 17, but overall, fantastic disc. Almost made that really long throw in on uh, hole 11. Harp, fantastic. Uh, I bagged a harp for many years, and if uh, A2s didn't grow on trees in Georgia, I could just slide those suckers right back in the bag and uh, wouldn't miss a step. They are very similar discs. A2s lower profile, which I like, but the harp is fantastic, and threw it for many, many years very happily. Uh, the buzz, only threw once, but got into circle two it was straighter than i thought i don't know if that's just because it's an esp buzz instead of a, a z buzz or a z flex or whatever you guys are throwing these days but it was fine i wasn't excited to throw it but it did fine the pyro actually was great uh threw a lot of good shots with it got me some birdies probably should have had one more because i missed that stupid putt on uh 15 that i probably should have had but pyro was fantastic I could easily bag a pyro in place of my Gila. Uh, the Gila and the pyro are like really, really close. And they both cover that like slightly overstable to pretty overstable, depending on which run and everything you get of both this. So uh, if I wasn't throwing Gila's a whole bunch, that could easily be one that I, I threw in the bag instead. They're really nice. Um, the T-Bird, great. I didn't have any awesome, awesome shots with it today, but it did exactly what I wanted it to every time I threw it and performed really well. That glow one, the white one is especially nice. Uh, Firebirds did Firebird things. Actually, I'm kind of spoiled because I've been throwing flares so long that are like FAF Firebird type flight. That these that I was throwing today for the most part were a little bit, had a tiny bit of shoulder and they're not the most overstable Firebirds. So there's a couple times where I pump one out there and it didn't fade like I thought it was going to because I'm used to a flare flight, but still really good. Um, the Pharaoh actually was probably the biggest disappointment. I got a couple good shots off with it. My shot on four put me in this perfect spot to get up and down for the easy par, and then my one on 18 was in a fine spot where I was able to do that big hyzer with the harp and get the birdie, but it just didn't have the glide I feel like it should for being a quick, nice feeling disc like that. I remember it having more glide. Maybe I just wasn't hitting my backhand perfectly today, but uh, I thought it would fly better. And then the Enforcer, I only really ended up throwing on hole seven, and that was kind of a niche hole. You know, it, it was a weird line that I throw, kind of a weird local route where I wanted it to do exactly what it did. So uh, no complaining about the Enforcer. Nothing bad to say about it. It's a great disc. I just didn't get a whole bunch of chances to use it. So overall, thank you guys for participating in the poll. I hope you enjoyed it, and I enjoyed playing with a disc that I don't normally hit the course with. You did a good job building a bag. I would have liked something a little more overstable in there, like a Justice or a Stego, just to get some of those really funky lines that I personally like to throw. But I think for your your uh, you know average intermediate to advanced player hitting the course, you could shred just about anything with that bag. So thank you guys for putting it together. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.